Hey at Woodlanders, I've been asked to make a couple of bird boxes, so I thought I'd bring you along. First off, is I downloaded the plans off the RSPB website. I'll put a link in the description for their particular website. It's really good, really comprehensive, so I'm going to use their plans. Now the first jobby is to get some timber. They say to use six inch wide timber or 150 millimeters. They do say don't use treated timber. And the reason for that is any treatment and insecticide that they put in the, in the treatment of the timber means that that could affect the baby chicks. So this is Lelandi, it will, it's rough sawn, it's untreated, it's my own timber, a great timber for outdoor projects. So my go-to species would be oak and sweet chestnut in hardwood and things like larch, Douglas fir, western red cedar or Leyland Island. But my first job is to get these all to the same width and once I've done that then we can work out the cutting list. That's those ripped to width. When you're cutting the sides, it's got that at 200 mil, the side at 250 mil. I don't know what the angle was, so I've just invented my own. 19, between 18 and a half and 19 degrees. I've got all the cutting list done now. The only one I've not done is the base, and that's because I've done these before, and because my size are very slightly different, somehow the base hasn't fitted, so I'm going to assemble the whole lot, get the exact size of the base, and then cut those. I was just doing a quick dry fit then and what I did notice when you put the front on is um, pop the front on like that and pop the roof on like that and what you get is if you don't chamfer that at the same angle as that then you end up the roof sticking proud like that up here and I didn't want that so what I've done is I've just cut that angle there so that angle there is the same as that angle on those on the sides which for me was 19 degrees if you didn't want the chamfer you could cut the front piece about eight millimeters shorter than it the instructions say and that because of this thickness of timbers an inch that will give you then enough clearance for the roof if you don't want to cut the angle when i've done these before in the past i've always uh, pre-drilled holes and put screws in rather than pre-drill everything is to just put nails in some timbers you can't just do that with you can't just whack a nail in it things like oak and other hardwoods it will probably just split out whereas this is a nice softwood take nails really well With regards to the base, I said I'm going to cut that to size special, and that's because this way is right, so that's 150 there. But this way, because of the thickness of these sides, it will alter the size. In the instructions, it says that the base should be 120 wide. Well, that's because if you're using thinner timber, it would be. But because I'm using just over an inch thick timber, 
uh, it's got this coming out at 95 95 millimeters so I'll cut that 95 whether your cuts are square or not. But with regard to nails, I think they're called ring shank nails and they've got like a rib that stops them from being pulled out. And they are pretty tough to pull out without ripping the timber out. And these are, these are 50 mil. Just got to attach the lids now. So the lids go on like that and of course, you want to be able to access the bird box inside because you want to be able to clean it out once a year the old nest oof that out but what they recommend on the rspb instructions is to use a piece of rubber piece of inner tube or even if you have to a piece of roofing felt is to nail that on there so that this can be hinged up you see Okay, I did say I wasn't going to use screws. Okay, so I lied. Um, I am going to use screws. And these are little 16mm, um, 3.5mm screws. This is what I've got in, in a box just here. Now, this is where I came into issues with it before is that now it's all very sort of <laughs> what I do is I'm going to put a little bit of something across the bottom of there and that means that when you put the lid down like that it will just it just click into that front area and so depending on which kind of bird you want to go into your bird box we've got different size holes so it's got 25 millimeter for cold tits, marsh tits, and blue tits. 25 millimeters. Have you seen my pencil? You know, the key dimension is how high the hole is from the bottom. The bottom of the hole has to be 125 from the base of that. Any lower than that, and when the chicks start to get bigger and fight over each other there's a risk that they can actually get to the hole too early climb out fall out and they're dead so it looks like our hole has got to be quite high up here somewhere now if you're going to drill a bigger hole that would suggest to me that this front panel really could do with being a little bit bigger so if you're going to be drilling bigger holes I would make this more like 210 something like that It'll give you more room at the top to make a hole up here somewhere. Now I said I wasn't going to use a drill. Well, I lied about that as well. And um, I've got rather what I call an overkill drill bit. It's what I use for timber framing. And it's 25 millimeters. So, and it does it usually does quite a nice clean hole. Oh, don't do that. Kind of holes you could use a speed bit which is a or a flat bit as some people call them or a, a hand brace and bit i left these a couple of days because it's been so cold i wanted to make sure that the glue had dried that's better look so that piece of wood stops a lot of the movement it stops it from slipping forward job is to drill a hole in there. Oh, My only concern with these things is some people nail them to trees, which is, is okay. I'm okay with that. But they do recommend to use aluminium nails. So big long aluminium nails. So in the future when that tree gets cut down or milled or anything that happens to it, you're not cutting through a great big old rusty nail that wrecks the saw. Uh, so use an aluminium nail if you're going to nail it into a tree. And there we go, two blue tip boxes using the RSPB 
plans. So if you're able to, why not have a go at making a bird box? Thank you.